Hello, I'm Kevin Tharp. Today what we're going to do is we are going to be working within OpenBrush and what we're going to do is we are going to look at the camera tools that are available in the advanced mode. So up to this point in the, the recordings that I've been making, we've been using the basic camera tools that give you access to snapshot, auto GIF, five second GIF, and video. Well, what I want to do is I want to get access to some advanced tools for this. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I have to do is I have to come down into my lower panel and I need to click on advanced mode. In advanced mode, you'll notice that it changes the palettes that are available to you. And the one that I'm specifically be going to be working on today is within the tools menu, I'm going to be looking at the cameras and you'll notice when I switch from the beginner mode, the beginner mode only has the, um, the camera there. It doesn't have a little triangle here. When you switch to advanced mode, there's a little triangle there. And that little triangle means that there are additional tools behind this icon. So what you need to do is point, click and hold. And when you click and hold, come over this camera options. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the tools that are available here. And specifically, we're going to start with field of view. So within the field of view, when I point to this tool, you'll notice that down here a camera comes up. So I point to this with my controller and you'll see that the field of view, let's set it at the tightest, is, is uh, 10 degrees. So your the field of view of the camera at that point is only 10 degrees. The, the range of that is from 10 to 140. And as you watch down here, 140, that shows the this entire scene that's in the background from really close up, actually. Uh, so you've got, from the point that it is considering the lens of the camera, you've got 140 degrees of view. So again, as we go through that, 90, 70 is about the halfway point and it scrolls all the way into 10. And with 10, you're really uptight. So you can think of this sort of as a zoom, though it isn't exactly a, doom, a zoom, but it works sort of the same way in that it allows you to change how much of the, um, the visible image in front of you is being captured by the camera. This tool does not change what you are seeing with your headset. This only changes what the field of view of the cam of the um, of the camera itself. So what I've done, I've previously gone through and I've grabbed some images with uh, some of the different fields of view. So I'm going to pull those in. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to go into another tool that's available uh, when you go to the advanced mode is this local media library. So I open the local media library and that's gonna give me option for local models, local images. And what I've done is I've taken snapshots from uh, different uh, points or different field of views from 10 to 140. And that's what I'm gonna bring in. So this one is the 140 degree. <laughs> getting in my own way here um, and then this one is 70 degrees and then this one is 10 degrees so I'll get rid of that and let's take a little bit closer look at this so um, with the 10 degrees as you saw on the camera you're in really tight on this image so it gives you the ability to see more detail less of the image more detail of it as you come out you find a a, a balance between the uh the field of view so this would be the 70 and you can see it captures the entire scene that i have set up and then the uh 140 shows way out uh, beyond the bounds of, of what I can see even with my camera 
um, the, I'm using the spectator camera right now that I'm recording from. Uh, so this is what you're seeing. That is the basics of how this works. Again, the, the feature is in order to get to it, um, starting in the beginner mode, you go to advanced mode and you come into the cameras, you click and hold, you go into camera options, and then we've got this field of view that changes from 10 to 140. Now, the other thing that you'll notice in each of these pictures, there's this little open brush logo at the bottom of each of these images. And so with this same tool set, I can turn that off. That's called the watermark. So I'm going to choose to turn that on or off. So uh, if it's turned, now let's go back to this tool where you can see what it's doing. Um, if you turn it on, you'll notice that it comes up right here. Turn it off and it goes away. Most of you will most likely end up wanting to publish your images or your videos in a format that doesn't have that watermark um, just because it's their watermark it's not yours it, if you're trying to demonstrate that it is an open brush tool or video or picture that you're doing that you know it is there to turn on and off you decide how you're going to do that and that's the main tools that we're going to cover in this video uh, so the, the, the camera tools are the tools that allow you to uh, begin to control how you present your scene to people that will be looking at it through images or videos. And so that is the uh, information that is available for you right now on the advanced cameras tool or the cameras tool within the advanced mode in open brush. I hope this has been helpful. Bye-bye.